Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So today we are going to be continuing I'm Gonna Wreck It! Limited time event in Disney's Magic Kingdoms. So this event is 29 days long. Um, we get an additional two hours bonus uh, when the event starts, if you guys start on time. But now it, we are officially at the 29 day mark. So everybody should have the update by now. And you should be able to try and get uh, all of these awesome new Wreck It! Ralph characters or Ralph Breaks the Internet depending on which movie you're going off of. So here we can see Mickey is battling one of those spam bots. They are a little bit tricky to collect for I find. I think that is what's going to slow me down in terms of the leveling up process but we will see. So I have enough for Ralph. So Ralph is going to be coming into the kingdom in just a few minutes here. Now you guys do need to make sure you save up 500 event currency to bring him in. So right now I have Christopher Robin who is now level six. Many happy returns. So I decided to level him up because he was only a couple of hours there and I pretty much needed to level somebody up sort of in between. Now I don't have a lot of characters right now that are super low levels that I can level up. So if I don't have enough uh, character tokens and stuff for them, then I can't do that. So now that uh, Ralph is gonna be in the kingdom in a few minutes, I'm gonna choose to level up Sven. Now he's four hours, so this is a little bit of a gamble in terms of the event. Now I wouldn't do any more than four hours for my characters right now because it's still super early in the event and I think that's a really bad idea but I know I might need Sven at some point because he's a secondary storyline character. Now the princess dressing room guys isn't unlocked yet. I need to complete more kingdom quests so I think that's really the only thing that's stopping me right now so hopefully by the end of this video I will be able to build that for you guys. So I don't know how much land I'm going to have available for that, but I obviously I'm going to clear out whatever I have to to get the job done. Now I'm a little worried because some sections of land I don't even know if it could hold the uh, princess dressing room. It's just that big guys. Now I know that I'm saving it for that 3 million land slot and I'm not really willing to move some of my stuff. Um, out of my kingdom because it collects event currency and stuff like that right now so I have to be very careful about how I do this it's gonna be a little bit tricky but here is Ralph in the kingdom for the very first time yeah kid kid you can't just go running off into other people's games without whoa this uh, this is a lot more glitter and sparkles than I'm used to Quest complete. Welcome runtime error 57. Uh, I mean, this place does have a decent polygon count. I'll give it that much. Points for effort. Thanks, Ralph. <laughs> what are you saying about my kingdom? Aw, oh, for the love of, this is one of those mobile typhoon games. Yes, told me about typhoon ties something anyway. Those games give me the willies. They're always online. How are you supposed to relax when a player could be watching at any... Wait, a player could be watching at any minute. I mean, uh, I'm just a simple non-player character uh, going to the, the store. Yeah, the, the store. <laughs> Quest line fault 778.1. Send Ralph to task act natural. I have no idea what's going on with all these things. It's a little bit hard to read sometimes what these tasks actually are. So it's two hours. So uh, there is Ralph. He's actually going around eating cherries. I guess this is his act natural. That's so cute. I love that he's holding the big giant cherries. It's adorable. Ralph is huge in my kingdom. Look at him. He barely fits on the bridge. <laughs> oh, and he just walked through Calhoun. Like, she wasn't even there. You guys even know each other. It's not like some of the other characters here. All right, so I just gemmed my way through that a little bit just because I felt like it. And I've got, you know, some gems to spend. So I thought, you know what? Why not include the dialogue in this video here? Bingo, got a signal. Looks, hmm, friendly. Yeah, we'll see about that. 
Unknown combatant, this is Sergeant Calhoun of the Heroes Duty Space Marines. Identify yourself immediately. What? Run that call sign by me again? Look, Joker, if Star Command is a real organization, then I'm a pink pony. <laughs> is he talking about Buzz? Ugh, line's dead. Must have been a pre-recorded broadcast. Otherwise, I'd be showing that prankster what this tastes like. <laughs> Quest complete. Minimap activate. Only thing I hate as much as cybugs is breaking military protocol. And I really hate cybugs. <laughs> we know you do, Calhoun. We know that. So Calhoun is a paid character, guys, and I brought her in in my last video. Yep, 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 yep. Just an ordinary non-player character going to the store. Still, it's, uh, it's very far away and... Ah, nuts. I can't keep this up and look for Vanellope at the same time. But how am I gonna... Wait... Uh, hey out there! I don't know if anyone's playing this right now, but I promise I'll be out of your hair uh, real soon. Just uh, sit tight, pretend I'm part of the background textures, and do not delete the game. Seriously. Are, are we good? Phew! Still got all my pixels. Guess I must have done something right. Quest complete. Quest line fault. 778.1. That or nobody was actually watching me. Either way. <laughs> More dialogue. Penelope. Oh boy. I thought this game was supposed to be popular when I came in. But popular with viruses? Now that's a fun surprise. Good thing I have myself set to unplayable. There's no way I could outrun those bugs if I had users telling me what to do. Also, just saying, I have no idea what game this is. I just jumped in without looking at the title. I'm whimsical like that. Guess I better figure out what kind of operation they've got running around here. Find your dream. Build princess dressing room. Oh my goodness, we unlock the attraction, guys. Princess dressing room is 500, not gems, guys, hearts. Yes! Thank you, Disney Magic Kingdoms. You are literally the best game in the whole entire world. Thank you for this. Attention, you do not have enough hearts to do that. Earn more hearts from the event. Uh, okay, okay. I need 101 more. Not Dalmatians, 101 more hearts. Thank goodness, I thought that that was gonna be gems, and I thought it was gonna be literally like 500 gems, just because um, it's just so big and pretty, and it's literally just 500 hearts. This is amazing, guys. Now, Buzz Tube is gonna be super small and probably worth a lot in terms of attractions, but you know what? I'm really happy with um, the hearts just being 500. They could have made it like 1,000 or 1,500, but they didn't do it to us, guys. They didn't. So, you know what? I think they made the most challenging part about all this is the land. That's what they've done to us. They literally just said, you know what? Fine, we'll make it nice and easy for you guys. Here's, you know, all the stuff you need to do it. But unfortunately, the land, you're going to have to make difficult decisions that you don't want to make in order to <laughs> put this in your kingdom. So, that is the only thing DMK has left us to do, really. Yeah, I didn't even buy a currency bundle this event, guys, because I used the gems that Disney Magic Kingdoms gave me to purchase the parade float and stuff, which the currency bundle this time was attached to the parade bundle. If you guys want to see all of that, it's in my last video. Um, everything just sort of popped up, so you will be able to see all the details in my first video of the event, which is um, what I, which was the currency bundle for Calhoun and what I called like Welcome Calhoun video. So. 
Again, guys, watch that if you want to know what the bundles were and everything for the first day of the event. I don't think anything else is going to come up here. There's no just standard currency bundle right now with some gems or something like that. They might offer that a little bit later on in the event. But um, I always find that if you're gonna buy a currency bundle, buy it at the beginning because at the beginning is when you really need it to get your story going and stuff like that to do all the quests to stay on top of things. Later on, you probably can come up with enough currency, but the problem is if you don't have enough early on, you will never make it. So that is one thing that I'm a little bit sensitive about. Now, as you can see, as I'm collecting around the kingdom all these hearts, I've now got 1361 at the moment and climbing. So. That is really good. I'm really happy with that. Now I know as soon as I level up um, Ralph again, I'm, I think I should be able to do that in this video, guys. I think I should have enough stuff to do it. So when I do that, that'll probably be like 200 maybe or 500. We'll have to see. I'll have to check in a second. Um, I forget what I, um, I forget what it was. Damn it. Okay, I'll have to check. But um, anyways, it'll take a little bit of currency there. So it might bring me under a thousand, but I'll just have to see. If the actual princess uh, dressing room is 500, then that'll take me to a thousand because I currently have now 1521. Again, and climbing. So the 15, so 500 of it right now will go to the princess dressing room. And if 200 goes to Ralph, um, that will take literally half of my currency. That's totally fine though, because right now guys, it's all right. I've got, if I build the dressing room, I've literally got now basically what, like still almost a whole day. So like probably like 16 hours before I have to start worrying about currency again. Now I will be collecting, but I'm not gonna stress about how much I actually have until like, again, 12 to 16 hours, I'll start checking and making sure. But you know like the next character is definitely gonna be like a thousand of end currency or something like that. So you have to make sure you have it. Don't think, oh, because I got the princess dressing room that, you know, Disney girl's totally fine if she's doing that. No, don't even, don't even try. We gotta be serious this first chunk of the event. I know I'm super intense, I apologize, but I wanna get you guys through this event. And I promise you, if you're following along with me, you'll be fine. Even when I post videos and stuff like that, and I know I've gotta do all my editing and stuff like that as well. Um, I mean, if there is a lot, but I gotta put the video together for you guys. So even with that, if you're just following along with when I post, you guys will be fine. I, I promise you, you will get through the event. Now this event is a little bit more complex because we've got um, the princesses and stuff, which I'll show you guys again in a minute here and talk to you about. But really, like, we're good right now in terms of what we have and what we need. So those costumes are for tomorrow. So when those become available, then, um, you know, I'll talk to you about how to handle that. I just leveled up Sven, guys, so he is now ready to go um, when we get the secondary storyline. I might try and level him up one more time through this event but we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm gonna try and put the princess dressing room out in my kingdom. Um, wow, it literally doesn't fit here. So I had to take, or I decided to take um, this section of land to put it in. I'm not keeping it here, guys. I promise you this is like a horrible chunk of land to put it in um, because it literally just takes up the whole entire thing. But that being said, I need to put it somewhere. So I am putting it in the Space Mountain area where I could remove two attractions, the Sword and the Stone, and the um, Air Force one, I forget what it was, it's exactly called. But that one uh, I got rid of. I don't need it right now unless it's like collect gold trophies for the leaderboard event, which could be tomorrow. But I'll just have to maybe rearrange my kingdom a little bit by then. But I need to get that princess dressing room out so it can start the construction time. So the construction time is four hours, guys. So not too bad. If you guys want to skip it, it is 16 gems, which again, isn't horrible to use, guys, if you purchased a gem bundle. I do recommend doing that um, if you want to push things along a little bit faster and it will help you collect more currency a little bit faster as well. So it just depends on what you guys wanna do. If you don't wanna spend your gems on that and you wanna save them for the characters and stuff, that's totally fine. Um, you guys will still make it and it won't be a big deal. I'm not gonna use gems on this one. I think I'm gonna wait out the four hours. Um, again, I could use it if I wanted to, but I don't think there is a need for the moment. So I'm gonna leave that to do its thing for four hours. And then when I come back in my next video, I will have 
unlock this and see what dialogue that triggers. It should trigger some sort of dialogue um, with Penelope and maybe even Cinderella for tomorrow's costume. So again, we'll just sort of have to wait and see what it does, but I am really excited to see it in my own kingdom. It's gonna look so cool. Okay, so in terms of characters here, I'm gonna wreck it. I've now welcomed two of the seven characters, which is absolutely amazing. And so Calhoun was a paid character. She was 200 gems, guys, or you could buy her in a bundle. Again, if you wanna check that out, watch my last video. Um, now, Ralph was the first character that you could bring in if you didn't wanna purchase Calhoun. So he is now out in my kingdom, and again, like in great time, so I'm not even worried about that. The next character though that will be released to me is Spam Lee. Now, again, I don't really know anything about this guy. I haven't seen the Ralph Breaks the Internet movie, so I don't know really what his role is. The trailers didn't show very much with him in it, so again, we'll see what his role is, see if he's a villain. Um, again, this is something I don't really know yet. If you guys have seen the movie and you want to do a bit of a spoiler alert in the comments, please do. Uh, just let me know in the comments who these characters are, like Yes and Spamly. Those are the two mysterious ones to me, I find. Um, give me a little bit of description about them and that will really help. Otherwise, that is going to be it for now. The princesses will be available uh, throughout the event, starting with Cinderella. So Cinderella will be released at the same time as Spamly, so that is going to be amazing tomorrow. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that little bell for post notifications. Also give this video a big Mickey thumbs up, and we will see you guys for the next episode when I officially construct the princess dressing room. All right, bye guys.